Hello everyone, welcome back to Product Genius. This is me, Suri Prakash. And in today's video, I'm gonna explain, explain and uh, demonstrate and explain you guys in order to solve or how to fix Wi Fi uh, is connected but no internet access on Android. So, specifically, this video is taken on a Samsung Galaxy device, but do not worry. The steps are going to be the same just the interface is going to change uh, according to device or device but you know do not uh, skip or want to watch another video as most of the steps which i mentioned in this video is going to be the same for all the devices okay so uh, we're gonna actually have to use uh, five to six fixes with which we'll be able to 100 percent solve the wi-fi issues so at times your Android does not have internet access even after connecting it to a Wi-Fi network. Do not worry, this is a common Wi-Fi issue that can occur on any Android phone. This video shows some of the fixes to try if your Android is connected to Wi-Fi but the internet is still not working. Okay, so uh, the topics uh, which is going to be covered in this video are Wi-Fi not working on Android phone but working on other devices, how to fix Wi-Fi connected uh, but no internet access on Android device and how to fix Samsung Galaxy. Uh, Galaxy phone connected to Wi-Fi but no internet, okay? So let's just not waste any more time and let's just uh, straightly move on to the video. Fix one. It's going to be, you know, turning off your mobile phone along with the router. This actually, you know, restarting your mobile phone actually solves most of the bugs or errors in your mobile. So if you face some errors such as message, yes, are receiving but you are unable to view your messages, this is going to be a fix. So if you do this, uh, for 50% of the people, the error is going to be rectified. So in order to switch off the router, you'd have to turn off, uh, in order to click on the power button, or if there is no power button, this, uh, then just you know, turn off the power supply and switch it on again after 3 minutes. And in your mobile phone device, you have to just click on the power off button over here, and your phone is going to be powered off. Fix 2. We're going to have to set a mobile to the proper date and time okay so uh, right now as you can see my screen this is my date and time feature right now it's tuesday of 19 september it's 12 36 a.m okay so we're gonna have to fix the proper date and time as uh, not setting the proper date and time uh, is going to have an impact on few of the applications connecting to the internet so in order to you know check whether your date and time is uh, correct or not or the best way in order to set your automatic date and time is going to be going to the settings and in the settings we're gonna have to scroll down to uh, general management over here in the general management we're gonna have to click on the date and time over here and we're gonna have to choose the automatic date and time along with the automatic time zone so this both is gonna actually uh, make your mobile device obtain the automatic date and time along with the time zone from the internet okay, so you do not have to worry about setting a time okay fix 3 is going to be use google's dns service okay for that we're gonna have to go to connections over here in the connections we're gonna have to click on the more connections over here in here we're gonna choose the private dns okay right now by default it's going to be off for everyone but you could just turn it on and you could use a uh, private DNS uh, that is Google's uh, that is going to be DNS.google and you just click on the save button and a private DNS is gonna you know solve the issue fix 4 is going to be to change the Wi-Fi settings for that we are going to be navigating to the connections once again we are going to be clicking on the Wi-Fi and here we are going to be clicking on the settings and here there are actually two steps what you do number one you're gonna click on the forget network and you're gonna have to connect again to this network by entering your password if you do you're gonna have uh, you know it's going to solve the common bugs so right now i'm gonna enter my password okay now after connecting or uh, forgetting your network uh, the issue is going to be solved and if it's not yet solved you could just go you know Click on the view more, I could just uh, and in here we're gonna have to click on the view more options and in the view more options you choose your IP setting to be static. If you choose a static uh, IP address, uh, you know sometimes 
the IP address may mismatch with the other devices. So if you choose a static IP address, we're going to have to solve the issue. And the gateway is going to be your gateway. And uh, we're going to leave the network prefix lens to as it be. And in the DNS, we're going to use 8.8.8.8 .8 along with either your actually gateway or you could choose the another Google's uh, gateway that is going to be 8.8.8.4.4. .8 .8 .8 .8 .8 okay so that is going to solve and make sure that the proxy is turned off i mean uh, the proxy options you would have three options none manual and auto config and then here you're going to make sure that the none is chosen and uh, you know in the mac address types always choose the randomized mac okay so that is going to solve you the issues the fifth fix which we are gonna so see is that uh, we are going to reset the network settings. We will be able to reset the network settings by clicking on the manage router over here. For clicking on the manage router, we must once again click on the settings over here. And then here we are going to click the manage router. The clicking the manage router page is going to take you to your actual home page. Okay. So by this is the page with which you will be able to connect to your Wi-Fi settings page. So right now I am using a Geo router. So I'm gonna visit the admin page of the Geo router, and then here you're going to have to make sure that your device is not blocked in the by your parents or someone else. Okay, so in order to do that, what you're gonna do is that okay for that all we have to do is that we must disable Mac filtering on router. The step 6 is going to be actually resetting the network settings. For that we are going to have to navigate to the settings and then here we would have to reset our you know network settings. Okay. Um, for, but uh, remember when you are actually resetting the network settings uh, all the saved passwords along with the connected Bluetooth devices is going to be disappeared. So just keep that in mind while resetting the network settings. And that's it for today's video and uh, do not forget to click on the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel do not forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell button near to the subscribe button and once again thanks for watching this video until then bye